I have been Director of Internal Audit for many years and I've been very passionate about the audit profession itself and, uh, and, and uh, my constant, um, would constantly strive to make the audit, our audits better and one of the ways we felt that we could improve our audits is, is to use some software-like idea and the reason uh, why we were feeling the need to um, acquire a tool, something like this, was um, basically it w in, in our banking environment, it's really critical that our source data is, is, is protected. And uh, uh, we also deal with huge amounts of uh, data on a daily basis in our audit department. We have um, over a million customers, and if you consider every household generally has more than one debit card you can imagine some of those files can get really huge and so uh, we were looking for something that can handle that level of data. Um, also, one of the things that was important to us um, was that the data access be read only uh, because you don't want to, uh, to have some issues with your production databases and so um, the other thing was that we had some auditors that had some considerable experience with other um, Excel and Microsoft Access, so we noticed that as, as, as people change positions, go to different companies, then we were left with some, um, um, some analysis developed in Excel that really was very difficult for the newcomers to come in and pick up from there, so we were looking for something that can provide some continuity. In banking, um, loans are one of the most important assets in, a, in any banking environment. You probably heard lots of stories during the financial crisis, um, lots of uh, banks having uh, loan issues. Uh, we were one of the lucky ones not to have those kind of issues um, simply because we have been analyzing our loan portfolio um, and especially since 2007 uh, using IDEA. And so it helps to to um, to monitor your portfolio much better if you have some robust analysis tools like IDEA. We are also in an, in a regulatory environment where it's very important for us to not always sample um, data to test the accuracy of our data. There are certain instances if you are familiar with um, many of the accounts are supposed to have. Uh, are required to have a social security number or a tax identification number. Um, so this is not something that we could just take a sample of 25 accounts and, and see whether we have acquired those social security number or tax identification numbers or not. We want to look at it 100% to monitor segregation of duties and to analyze something like that. Um, we spent hours and hours in Excel uh, previous to IDEA but we're looking for some solution that can help us um, monitor that situation much better. And one of the restrictions we had there, even though we had developed some things in Excel, it was very difficult to do it more than once a year. And as you know, that access controls change uh, from time to time as employees come and employees leave, uh, access controls um, um, continue to change. And so we needed something to monitor on a continuous basis. Um, again, in our wire transfer information, um, we always need to have beneficiary information. This is not something we can just sample. 